After that last episode, I am so done with chili. But I don't know why I see chili on the table today. So I really hope it has nothing to do with me eating spicy food again. Thank you for the challenge. Let's see, fingers crossed. Challenge four, DIY, do it yourself. We saw how much fun you had tasting our chili tuna. Not. So let's see if you can make your own rendition of a fiery hot dish. You can use tuna, mackerel or sardines and the choice is yours. Just make sure it is hot, hot, hot. So can Charlotte May bring the heat? Okay, this is making me really excited because it's finally my turn to get back at Ion Brand. And I'm gonna make this super spicy. So in the last episode, I did mention that the spiciest thing I've ever had was like a mala dish, right? So I think I'm gonna do something along the lines of that. Uh, I'm not gonna use tuna because I've already used it a few times before. I've got mackerel or sardines left. Maybe I'll use mackerel because I like the name mala mackerel. Uh, there's tomato sauce, sunflower oil. Let's go for extra virgin olive oil. Mala mackerel it is. So I'm gonna start first by making my citron pepper and I'm gonna do that from scratch by toasting some citron peppercorns. And that's gonna give the ma la flavor. So ma for numb and la for spiciness. And that's gonna give you your mouth numbing spicy flavor that you get from such dishes. So first, I'm gonna start taking out my cooker. So I did say I would be toasting citron peppercorns. Let's heat that up. Just about two tablespoons full. Okay, and I love citron pepper because they have that nice floral smell to it. So I'm going to let that toast for a while until it becomes fragrant. Now I need from the fridge uh, spring onion and firm tofu. Okay, got my spring onion and my tofu, thank you. So I'll first start by chopping up my ginger and garlic. So I need my aromatics. I'm gonna take about three garlic cloves and an inch of the ginger. So that's my ginger sliced up and my garlic minced. I can smell the citron peppercorns right now, so I'm just gonna turn that off. And we also want spring onions. So I'm gonna take about three bunches of that. Now I wanna cut the white portion away from the green portion. I'm gonna keep that away for later, that's gonna add color. And I'm just going to roughly slice this up. So now we're done chopping our aromatics up. I'm now going to grind my citron peppercorn. Let me just put this aside. So, put all this in here. Okay, so now we just grind that up till we get a powder consistency. Once that's done, we're gonna leave it aside. We're gonna start cooking. So I'm now gonna get a pot to cook all of that in. Just a medium sized one will do. So this is almost gonna be like a stew, very similar to mapo tofu, where they use beef and tofu. But in this case, I'm gonna use the mackerel. So let's heat it up first. With some oil at medium heat. So when that's nice and warmed up, we're gonna put in our garlic and ginger to get it nice and fragrant. That should be good enough. Smells so good. I'm gonna add in the spring onion, just the bottom bits. Okay, that's sprang up really nicely right now. So I'm gonna take out my topanjiang sauce, which will give that nice, distinct flavor to this dish. Okay, I've got it right here. So topanjiang sauce is actually broad bean paste. It says right here, hot broad bean paste. Ugh. Ooh, smells so good. Ooh, it's uh. It got to my nose there, that's how spicy it is. So I'm gonna put in about one and a half tablespoons of this. I'm gonna fry it up till it's all mixed together and fragrant. Now to this fragrant mixture, I'm gonna add the mackerel. So I'm using the one with the extra virgin olive oil. These boxes are recyclable, by the way. Save the earth. Now I'm going to drain off the oil because we already have enough in here. Alrighty, and then now I'm just gonna put that in here. Those are the last bits, now we'll just stir it about. Now you can keep the mackerel slices whole, but I like to break them up into little pieces. 
So now that's nice and mixed up, I'm gonna pour in some water. It's about 200 to 250 mils. We'll mix that up and you can raise the heat because we want it to simmer right now. Mmm, looks so good. And to that now, I'm going to add some tofu. I'm using traditional Chinese tofu, so it's slightly stiffer than your silken one. You can use that as well, but I just find that those break up really, really easily. All right, I'm just gonna use half of this tofu block. In that goes, and we're gonna let it continue simmering. So the tofu and the mackerel give really contrasting textures, which I like, because the mackerel is a very meaty fish, and then the tofu is nice and silky, so this is a really comforting dish for me. So that's simmering really beautifully. I haven't seasoned it yet, aside from the topanjiang sauce, so I'm just gonna add a touch of soy sauce right now. About half a tablespoon will do. Can taste it as you go along. Now that's done, I'm going to amp up the textures here a bit. So I've got that meaty mackerel texture in here, that softness, silkiness from the tofu. So I'm going to make a cornstarch slurry right now. It's basically just cornstarch and water and it thickens everything up. Now time for science in the kitchen. We've got one tablespoon of cornstarch to about two and a half tablespoons of water. So it's nice and mixed up, we're gonna pour it in here. It's gonna take some time, so if it doesn't thick up immediately, don't add more cornstarch. Just give it some time and it will slowly thicken up. And if it doesn't, then you can add more. And I'm right now going to add my spring onion, which I had earlier on. So I'm now gonna put all of that into the pot for some color. And last and final step is to add in that Sichuan pepper, which we made earlier on. Just a touch of it and let your guests add the rest of it because it's really, really spicy. There you go, the peppercorns in there are smelling so good. And all that's left to do is to plate it up. That's exactly how simple this dish is. Oh, look at that. All the colors in there too. Okay, I'm gonna top it off with some citron pepper. More of that, she doesn't hurt nobody. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh, wow. Your mala is definitely on point. That tastes so good. The citron peppers really, really make a difference. So you know what? I am Bren. I now challenge you to make a mackerel dish that's just as tasty and spicy as my mala mackerel that's hot, hot, hot. May the food be with you. And can Charlemagne bring the heat? Confirm can la. Try this recipe at home and leave a comment down below to let I am Brand know what you would like to see in my next challenge. Whatever it is, confirm Ken La!